Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you how I managed to upgrade my Unity 4 project to Unity 5 project what problems I have now and what problems I need to fix immediately and what cool stuff I have now this is also very important because why to upgrade to Unity 5 if, if there is only problems, right? So there are also many many interesting stuff to explore and I'm going to show you this right now. So this is my car and you obviously remember this from my previous video about car. Uh, I will give a link in description of this video. This link will uh, let you see my Unity 4 project and uh, you can compare quality of Unity 4 and stability of Unity 4 and quality of Unity 5 and some instability of Unity 5 too. So let's just go ahead and in previous video you could see that this car has uh, two mm, sources of light inside they were point lights without shadows and now they are all with shadows and it's looking really awesome let's go no we will not go outside I'm going to show you uh, and you can see this um, noise on my front uh, glass this is a reflection of world I know it's not looking properly but still it's uh, you know it's looking hmm, well good and uh, now we have here also a light in front of our car yeah you know you can say that it's uh, lights that are coming from your uh, from your flares from your uh, light bulbs of your car but in fact they are not in car they are just separate sources of light and you can see now we face crazy problems with physics and I'm going to uh, explain you this later and now let's have a look at our car from outside so our car has now real-time reflections which are made uh, thanks to only one object this object it's reflection probe and I'm going to explore this for you later and now let's have a look at our lights you can see that our lights are working properly but because of this crazy crazy physics instability I cannot show you more interesting stuff because it's very annoying right you can see that uh, you know this speedometer is like crazy it's only because of this crazy behavior of unity physics I mean unity physics now is really good but because uh, of my mm, changes it's now not very stable and also this uh, texture on trees it's not correct okay now let me show you what I have and also very important stuff here is now you can mute your area so it will be less annoying okay let's talk about lighting and reflection in unity 5 so where is my car okay here we go uh, now in unity 5 you have a crazy crazy uh, opportunities because of lights and all those features that were available previously only only in Unity Pro. So uh, now I have this uh, sources of light. Uh, like I said before, they are not in car, really. They are separate separate sources of light. I try to make uh, them dynamic. I you know this. You know that. You know light is coming from texture from material but I failed and then I decided to put uh, spotlights instead so four spotlights for this very good 
uh, I don't know how to say this car light or something and this is uh, source of our reflection uh, reflection for um, for glass for metal of our car and let me okay I cannot even click on it okay here we go and uh, you can see that reflection has ooh the problem is so I will um, restart U unity later so look the reflection has uh, only mm, environment not interior of our car it's happening because uh, okay <coughs> <coughs> you can see that U Unity. Uh, for for some reason, I installed Unity. I mean, not for some reason. Uh, I installed U U Unity into my logical drive E. I will show it here. And this logical drive E has, uh, you know, about nine or maybe eight gigabytes of free space. And Unity really has no connection to my disk C, but for some reason, Unity takes space from my disk C. Oh, I don't need to report because it's only my mistake. Uh, and you, you, you can see that it um, takes uh, you know all my memory from disk C for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's for temporary files, for temporary files. Okay. Hmm. I could never expect that Unity will fail. <laughs> well, let's not waste our time, and I'm going to show you now. I'm going to tell you what interesting stuff U Unity also ha also has. So uh, we will talk on lighting in Unity 5, and obviously you have your old projects made in Unity 4, and you will have a problems with uh, setting up a lighting in your game because now uh, not only physics are different in Unity 5 but also lighting and um, scripting um, uh, scripting dependencies are different so we have to change a lot of stuff in your scripts if uh, you uh, find errors some scripts ne needed to be remade some of them can be easily deleted so it's up to you what to do okay uh, give me my unity 5 back please thank you so much thank you so much and now we're going to talk mm, talk on physics <coughs> you know physics lighting uh, so what you could see in my uh, previous you know this attempt to show you on my car project where is it since okay, here we go Tick. Uh, so there was a crazy behavior of physics it was you know speedometer was like crazy really it was you know coming from 0 to 50 from 50 to 70 from 70 to 0 back and then you know like uh, in a con like in a convulsions so I'm going to show you this again but without area okay look I look at my speedometer you can see that it's you know it's like like crazy and also my car is like crazy too so and believe me or not but this is the better result I could get after I upgraded to Unity 5 and now I'm going to show you what I had before so there's a, so this is a file I mm, save it today and this is a file I use it to work oh okay it is September last September uh, so I just opened my old uh, project and and what I face it I face it this not proper sky and I fix it it very easy so I went to my lighting and I click it here and I selected my default skybox which coming together with unity 5 
And now I'm going to show you what problem I face it with physics right after upgrading. So I I hit play button and look. Uh, I go forward right and y you can see that it's not working at all. It's like slow, really, really, really slow. And uh, how I manage it to fix this, you know, not fix really. I'm going to show you uh, two options. So in my case, I work it with torque. So uh, I'm, I don't, I, I don't remember. I told you this before or no, but. I'm, you know, I going to put link in description of this video, so you, so you would be able to see uh, how my project, this project, work it in U in Unity 4. So okay, uh, let's just increase number of torque to this number, and you will see how it will change my experience. Now it's you know a little, a little better, right? But still not good. Now I'm going to change my mass, my mass, mass, this. You know, a little, a little better, right? Let's just go and change our angular drag to this value. And this is how I manage it to <coughs> fix it. <coughs> really, it's not fix. It's terrible. And I know it's terrible. And for some reason, uh, also skid marks are not working properly. So, uh, so for instance, if my speed is very high, but my speed will never be very high. <laughs> so, so look. Uh, so there should be a skid mark over here. Where is my car? You see the, but there is no skid marks anymore. So I thought that there is a problem with coding, and I should remake a whole skid mark script. But it's not correct. The problem was in something in my physics, in upgraded physics. So I went to my collider. There is my world collider, and I enabled skidding. And you can see that skidding is working, but there is some problem with physics, some really, really annoying and crazy problem with physics. So, uh, the strong message of this video, guy, guys, is to say that before you upgrade to Unity 5, please make a backup and be ready for problems. Uh, you know, if you have some custom scripts about, uh, you know, about physics, and uh, and if you have some advanced light in your game, be ready to fix them. Just like I, I do now. And also lighting, lighting physics and coding. So you need to work with your code in your game. But, uh, you know, the problems are problems, but Unity 5 really gives you a lot of cool stuff, and I believe that uh, it's like a fight if you want to get this crazy good price, price which Unity, 5's, which Unity 5 want to give you, you need to fight, and you need to fight and fix all your problems yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah guys, so thank you for watching this video, have a good time and bye bye, bye bye and have a good time, see you later in the next episode of something very interesting. Bye.